these are the prizes for next month's giveaway double boost beanie because of cool weather is coming on and a double boost mug these are also available to buy the link is in the description box there's also a 0 to 25 mil micrometer which has also got the very very fine vernier scale on this one's setting up it's not on zero i'll make sure it does get calibrated before it's posted off there's also a set of telescoping ball gauges these were given to me by a lad called Graham chadwick he actually bought two sets by mistake i think there might have been drink involved uh, they're decent they would benefit from being taken apart and a little bit of fine wet and dry to polish them up but they certainly do work a nice little start I said don't forget if you want to enter the competition that's my email address up above and all you need to do is send us a, an email containing your name your full name like John Mills not just John and these will be posted off anywhere in the world completely free of charge I've just been reviewing some more of these tool holders from Banggood so I'm going to make another rack the same as this one to take all the extra tool holders I've got uh, this has worked out very nicely it's been ideal so I'm just going to make it very much the same I've done a quick drone uh, they need to be 40 mil square with two rounded corners so I'm just going to cut them out and I found a piece of box section I'll probably get 15 tool holders on the one piece Sixty long because that's the length of the bit of box section I had lying about. These are forty mil square, and you fit into there. There's a loose, which is exactly what you want. We're going to use that to hold them square. I'm just going to tack them on with a mig. Not really anything fantastic. And the space in between each one, it'd be the same as the one in the garage, which is forty mil. We'll fire the mig up, put a couple of tacks on these, and then just see the weld them all on. Right, I've got the basic bracket all welded up. I've just got to say where to put it. And I've got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Look, if I saw 13 tool holders, that just happened to be the length of the piece of bar I had. So now I can get all my tools mounted. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to mount this. It's quite heavy, so it does need a, a substantial mounting behind the layers probably where it's going to be but these tools are tools that I don't use all the time I'm going to put the oddball tools on here so I may mount it somewhere else I'm not sure then anyway, we will have a look at that this week just in case you fall out you fall off you know then you can twat into me and pull me off Oh, 
No, that's me phone. Huh? What's it telling you? You've got any problems after you? No, it sounds like this battery's gone flat. And here we go, the Intrepid 2. And off to another fine flying start. And that's it. They're off. This is it. Five minutes later and John is barely pulled twice his height. You've already discussed whether he's completely balmy or not. And the common consensus is we'll wait till we've got the top. He's making good progress, all the hard part was the first 10 feet. Get a little bit of camera here, I'm catching all the wind here. Putting a great deal of faith in these little things. That's a silly thing to say. Was it not better if you just take one off at a time because if you drop it, the whole lot's coming. Then what have you got in your hand? Right, uh, you need to think of putting it away. Well, what about, what do you call it, what you, what you could really do with, the thing, uh, uh, strap one from the, uh, that kind of V-neck you have, isn't it? Right. In case you drop them. Right, good. Uh, you put your foot up like that, haven't you? Right. You know, just in case you... Uh, and they're doing these kind of things for enjoyment. Do you want to check me? This would be a drop them and then you have them got me. True. You know? Ah, it's not after that, before. Go. Once you get the top, though, it comes out a little bit. Cool. Right. Um, you it. not got a decent one in that little hole there, Wade? Probably. John's expressed. You want to try it? Well, he's having difficulty. I'm trying to The coals knacked his fingers. Oh, well. And he's decided the to come down instead. So I can get some more in. Alright. So okay. you're going to secure his line. So if I pull it in, I'm a wheelie. Right. Like I'm still doing his own rope. Aye. Leave all the hooks in. <coughs> so walk around to the top. I'm still going to pick all the hooks up on the way down. Well, that's the theory anyway. Man, it is quite poppy here, like, and the stone's damp. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, you see that crack to your left? Oh, in there, aye. You're not getting out in there? It's too big, is it? Right. There's a big one you've got hanging on the front of you. Yeah. Now I'm saying that it's, it's got a big one hanging at the front. Um. <laughs> this is Wally. Laughing in the face of adversity. But John. Is uh, no mate is descend down. Still having difficulty with the cold fingers. Can't feel anything. Going to climb down. Now we're going to walk around the top and abseil from the top. Pick all the bits and bobs out of the rocks on the way through. <laughs> It is still quite a height. Over here, John. Put around. Beautiful view. I do agree. Well, this should be in the summer. It's a big, big foothold in here. Down a ways, down, 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 get any there.
Wouldn't make the level ten when it snows deep. Don't don't we alright? 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 Don't we? Oh, he's disappeared. We'll have to go around again. See that hole, Jordy. This is it. We're on the ground. How you know? Well, we're for the nice, lovely little kestrel. That seen Molly and flew off. Hmm. I reckon eagles, the eyesight is 200 times greater than the humans. A lovely little golden bird. Hmm. Here we go again. I think this is its mate. Yeah. Looks like two kestrels trying to get their leg over. Quite a merry dance. Oh. Hey, the wind's just whistling down here. This is it. Second attempt. Bloody town, not a baby. That's taken a literally two minutes. It took him so like 10, 12 before. And the wind is just whistling down this bloody channel. I'm standing about 10 feet off the bottom. And it's bloody warm here compared to being up against the wall. Very well. Hi. You ready for the video? Hi. <laughs> He's made good progress. All he has to do is get over that piece where he is now. That next little small lump directly above his head. And do a small cave. Do a little bring him out of the top of the cave. Now he is more than three quarters of the way there now though. And the wind has breezed on the bait. Yeah. How's your hands? Chances I should get the camera out because he's convinced he's gonna fall off. Cool. You've got past these own heights. I don't worry about stuff last time. And he's looking for tiny little bits within reach of his feet. His legs are just shaking just a little bit. Not much up there, eh? And he didn't know if it was cold off here. Hi. 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 I'm quick enough, I'm getting cold. Oh, this is done in the name of enjoyment. Oh, well. Uh. Oh, getting stuck. Can I see you get past this piece? This big rock here hangs out over. He can't come up around this side. But once he gets over that boulder, that he's standing up against, he can do a little bit of double. Right. Jumping, he's right. You can't do that. getting out again. Your hands are getting cold now. Keep on our fucking I don't think about going to the car boat sale on Sunday. I hope I'm stall. Look at all these climbing gear. This is it. John's decided yeah, well, to come down and uh, instantly got himself into the roadie. Have I got you all the way, like? No, I'm playing. All right. I will happen to pull the rope into the crack. It's, uh... I I'm fucking frozen, man. Doesn't he look ever so happy? Yeah. It looks easy from here, doesn't it? That's what I'm saying, aye? Eh? Looks even easier from the bottom. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is the rope there? Uh, does it want to be on either side of that or not? You know, if it goes on either side of that, it's got it. Once again, it's just time to say it. thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for everyone that's supporting us and sending well wishes anyway. Thanks for watching.